Let us all stand. Good morning. Let's welcome each other in this celebration, turning to the people around us. And as we do so, let's also take this moment and occasion to open our hearts, our loving God, as we lift each other's intentions and prayers to Him, remembering as well to pray for the end of violence of all kind against humanity, especially the unborn, remembering to pray for the victims of the shooting at Cook's Corner. Let us remember to pray for the poor families that struggle and victims of calamities like again in our efforts to pray for the people at Lahaina. Our entrance song is the servant song 654. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song. Jesus, Jesus, you In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we acknowledge our sins and our dependence on the mercy and compassion of God as we pray. You came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Heal the wounds of sin and division. Christe lehison. Christe lehison. Intercede for us with your Father. Kirihie lehison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ruth. Naomi had a prominent kinsman named Boaz of the clan of her husband, Elimelech. Ruth, the Moabite, said to Naomi, Let me go and glean ears of grain in the field of anyone who will allow me that favor. Naomi said to her, Go, my daughter. And she went. The field she entered to glean after the harvesters happened to be the section belonging to Boaz of the clan of Elimelech. Boaz said to Ruth, Listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in anyone else's field. You are not to leave here. 
Stay here with my women servants. Watch to see which field is to be harvested and follow them. I have commanded the young men to do you no harm. When you are thirsty, you may go and drink from the vessels the young men have filled. Casting herself prostrate upon the ground, Ruth said to him, Why should I, a foreigner, be favored with your notice? Boaz answered her, I have had a complete account of what you have done for your mother-in-law after your husband's death. You have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know previously. Boaz took Ruth. When they came together as man and wife, the Lord enabled her to conceive, and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed is the Lord who has not failed to provide you today with an heir. May he become famous in Israel. He will be your comfort and the support of your old age for his mother is the daughter-in-law who loves you. She is worth more to you than seven sons. Naomi took the child, placed him on her lap, and became his nurse. And the neighbor women gave him his name at the news that a grandson had been born to Naomi. They called him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork, Blessed shall you be, and favored. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven. You have but one Master, the Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and said to his disciples, and to his disciples, saying, <clears throat> The scribes and the Pharisees have taken the seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. 
You have but one teacher. You are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father, but you have one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever humbles himself, whoever exalts himself will be humbled. And whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Who's right and who's wrong? How many times do we find ourselves asking that question and we find ourselves almost taking sides in disputes? Okay, this person's right, this person's wrong. This political party is right, this political party is wrong. Whatever we are saying, we always have this thing about determining who's right and who's wrong. And we choose sides. And sometimes then when we choose sides, we find ourselves in a situation where we're so focused on the side we're on, everything on the other side is wrong. Everything the people do, if they do one thing wrong, they do everything wrong. And we think to ourselves, since we're doing some things right, everything must be right. We suddenly have this black and white view of right and wrong. Well, Jesus, through his teaching, was taking on the Pharisees and the Sadducees on some of their teachings. But Jesus wasn't going to fall into that trap of saying, well, since some of the things they're doing are wrong, everything must be wrong. What Jesus asks us to do is, with God's help, discern what are they doing is right and what are they doing is wrong. And suddenly, when we discern not right and wrong of people, but right and wrong of individual things, sometimes, now suddenly we see that some of the things are right. Jesus said, yes, many of their teachings are right. Many of the things they do are right. But don't fall in the trap that say, therefore, because some of their teachings are right, everything's right. But ask God to help us discern. In our first reading, we heard the second part of the story that began yesterday, the story of Ruth. And Ruth, in her life, as we heard yes in yesterday's first reading, had to make an extremely difficult choice. You see, before her, her husband had died, and she was from a foreign country, and she had to make a choice. The rules at that time were, if your husband died, you went back to your father's house to find another spouse. So that would have meant that she would have needed to leave her mother-in-law. But she saw Naomi, her mother-in-law, in great need because of the death of both her husband and both her sons. And she recognized that she couldn't leave her mother. Now, notice when she made that decision, she didn't vilify her people. She didn't say, oh, I think the Israelites are so much better than my own people, the Moabs. I'm going to do this. No, what she did is she saw the need. And she made the decision that there wasn't a good side and a bad side. But rather she saw the need in Naomi. She also recognized that the God Naomi followed, the one true God, was her God. And as we heard yesterday, your people will be my people, your God will be my God. And what we heard in today's reading is how God blessed her because of that decision, making her the great-grandmother of King David. In fact, her name is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew. So as we continue today in this liturgy, let us pray for the strength not to villainize people we disagree with, not to totally accept even people we agree with, but rather keep our focus on the one true Father in heaven and allow God to help us discern the correct path. You know, a funny thing happens when we suddenly recognize what we have in common, even with people that we may think have poor positions. We can dialogue. We can come together. 
and we can share God's wisdom to move forward. May we also allow God to work through us in the same way. True teachers are those who observe all things that they teach others. Let us strive to follow Jesus, the divine master, who taught us the way of truth and of holiness. With confidence, we pray. Our response, Lord, inspire us to follow your example. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. May the Pope, bishops, excuse me, may the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons follow the example of the Lord's humble service shown when he washed the feet of his disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. May teachers also become witnesses so that people may willingly listen to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. May parents as educators of their children, help in their ethical development by the affection and good example, fostering in them good habits and an inclination to goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. May we show ourselves as credible men and women by saying what we mean and meaning what we say. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. May we not impose burden on others that we ourselves are unwilling to carry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We lift up the intentions for whom this Mass is offered the eternal repose of the soul of Milk Tennant and the intentions of Analia Stovley and Luisa Maldonado, we pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow, follow your example. example. For the intentions submitted to us, for the intentions in thanksgiving of Mitsuki Okada, Deacon Ricardo Barraza, Eko Goles, Gerald King, Jean Nguyen, Edmund del Rosario, and Mike Branton, we pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. For those in need of comfort, strength, and healing, Kimberly Pham Hewitt, Nancy Scott, Lorenzo Moran, Barbara Yanchar, Kathleen Griffin, Lumi Palacio, John Donahue, Jennifer Austria, Teresita Javier, Belle Thielser, Louis Servania, Audrey Grabate, and Hussein Makaluas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. And for our dearly departed, Cesar Loyola, Valente Año, Paul Moreno, Eugenio G. Villanueva, Michael Poiser, Michael Ranahan, Adonis Lopez, and Angel Sarosa, we pray to the Lord. Lord, inspire us to follow your example. Almighty Father, Jesus, your Son, is our way, our truth, and our life. May we follow the way he has pointed out to us so that we may share the life he shares with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. 
to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created humanity. And when humanity was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus. Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncheli et terra, gloria tua, o sana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, O sahana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Until you come again 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
God of Christ. Communion Antiphon, I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And to our sisters and brothers unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, we join them in prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We pray to our loving Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to St. Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary place her trust, with you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a father and guide us through the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is You Are Near. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Lord, you have searched my heart, and you know when I sit and when I stand. Your hand is upon me, protecting me from death, keeping me from harm. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Have a blessed day, everyone.